cruise control activated so I get to enjoy the road and I get to enjoy the view as well and I just let the car do most of the work for me. Yo. literally one week before they reopen again. I'm so bleak. We're gonna come here for lunch and have a milkshake because these guys make some of the best milkshakes in the whole of South Africa. Anyway, they are closed. They're busy doing some renovations. So we will come back here again another time. Let's go look for another spot for lunch. So since Diesel and Creme is actually closed, we've decided to come to another little popular spot here in Barradale. It is called the Country Pumpkin. We're gonna come and have some lunch over here. I've heard really good things about the food over here. So can't wait. Let's go inside and have a look and see what they got. Look at the size of this burger. Yes, that is beast mode right there. Yum, yum. This is a pumpkin cookie. What? This is a pumpkin cookie, otherwise known as a pumpkin fritter, a very, very South African thing, and it's very apt because we are at the country pumpkin restaurant. How cute. I love that. Yum. Get my belly. And just like that, it's all in my stomach and that was delicious. Yum. With lunch in our bellies, it was time to go for a little walk around the town of Barrydale. This is a quirky little town and there's a lot to see on weekends and especially during times that aren't COVID. Unfortunately, there was a lot closed, but we still had a little bit of fun. Magic. So these guys have been kind enough to let us still mission around here even though they're closed. So we can come and have a look around. And this place has actually got so much to see. If you ever come here and you go inside the actual restaurant bar area over here, there's so many little things for you to see, like little dolls and little things, and it's just full of stuff. That's what I really like about Route 62, is that there's just so many things. I mean, look at this. Super random, right? Okay guys, what would a trip out to Route 62 be without a stop at the good old famous Ronnie's sex shop? <laughs> we've stopped over here and uh, we're gonna come for a drink. Hey Carlin. Well, I'm gonna have an alcohol-free beer just so you know because I'm super responsible whenever I drive, especially if I'm in a big old ranger over here. <laughs> so anyway, but let's go inside you guys, gotta check this out. The inside of this bar is it's quite something. Now it's not actually a sex shop. Ronnie's buddies pulled a prank on him when he opened up the store back in the 70s and he wrote Ronnie's shop in big red letters. One night they came around while they were drunk and they wrote sex with a big underlining and since then it has been a popular spot along Route 62. You have to stop there and I've been going there for years. I even found my old photograph that I put up there behind the bar in 2015. Can you believe it? Crazy is this guy. So there is writing everywhere absolutely on every single surface that you can find we've written here before um they must paint it every now and again to make space but i'm not quite sure then just as we were leaving i bumped into ronnie and i have never ever met him before so i quickly stopped him found out that it was his ranger in the front and decided to do a quick little interview with him this is what this funny old chap had to say hi guys i'm ronnie this is my ford i think i've had it from about 2000 2001 somewhere around there and die in need of another one actually we could help <laughs> how many kilometers has it done i'll have to check it's very close to 500,000, but just over 500,000. wow that's incredible and it's taking you on some wild adventures it's taking me all over i've only had one gearbox and 500,000 clicks i think that's extremely good that's where we're staying tonight. Playing the fun for me. Okay, we have arrived. <laughs> You've got to see what we've arrived to because this is pretty epic. I want to fly. What is even happening here? We just stepped into a Disney movie. I'm sure of it. Okay, our welcoming committee. Hello? 
Hello. And they have welcomed us to Klein of Pompey. This is where we're staying. Oh boy, let me tell you about what it was like just a second ago over here when we arrived. There were sheep everywhere. The dogs were herding the sheep. Then there was a springbok, which is down there, it came and arrived. This place is unreal. We're in the middle of the Karoo over here and we're just being spoiled. But oh my goodness. Let's go check in and get ourselves settled in. Inside we have our little kitchenette. Now we have our bedroom with a balcony outside. There's a bathroom over here with a shower. And if you come out here, yeah, you think it's done, but it's not. So there's another little balcony, a little cockaroony. <laughs> so cute. And then this is why I booked this place. Because it has this cool hot tub with a fireplace, hello, winter, how epic, and a view, and then you can go outside over here. So this is actually all open air tub vibes, hence the fireplace. And then go outside here, and then you can chill, perfect for two people, because it's romantic, and you can make a little fire, and you can have a vibe, and check out this lovely view, so nice. Hello puppy, we didn't forget about you, don't worry. Oh, you're cute. Okay, I'll touch your fancy. <laughs> Alright, so after a long day of driving and exploring Route 62, going into Barrydale, going for lunch and then going to Ronnie's sex shop, it's time to chill out you know, by the fire. Colin's just finished having a bath over there and uh, it was beautiful because I mean we have this incredible view over here. Joe, what a vibe. Clean wind pumpy, it's a win. In the next episode of Ranger Great Driving Roads, we leave the R62 behind us and we head into the mountains in the direction of Prince Albert. Yep, we're going to go tackle Severwegspoort and the mighty Swartberg Pass. This is one of South Africa's greatest driving passes and I cannot wait to share the adventure. Until next time guys, make sure that you follow along on my Instagram, Life of Mike Zede. Check you soon. Ciao, ciao.